Why did you choose Baruch? Did you graduate in Baruch? Is that what you really want to do? You trying to work in Wall Street? All right, so behind me is Baruch College. I came here before. My first school was Brooklyn College and I was so good at that place. I had a 3.5 GPA. All of our friends decided to like, yo, let's all go to the same college and take the same classes together. So we all transferred to Baruch, which is over here. We spent like two, three years over here. And at the end, I couldn't make it because it was a little bit too competitive. I got stuck at remedial math and pre-calculus. Couldn't pass that, so I couldn't take my major classes. I dropped out because I just realized this was not the path that I wanted to take. I know a lot of you guys are watching this right now are just wondering, should I even go to school at this point anymore, right? You're probably looking at all like the Bloomberg and the Forbes articles saying like the college degree don't really mean anything today. It didn't mean anything when I went to school and it definitely don't mean anything today. So there's so many other ways to make money online, for example, right? You could do stuff like e-commerce. You could do affiliate marketing. You could monetize your social media. You could sell SaaS, all right? If you want to create an app, you can create apps and you don't need to go to school for all that. There are online courses for like the fraction of whatever this guy's paying, all right? Probably if you take the online class, you'll probably learn a lot more, all right? There's a lot of things that this place just doesn't teach you how to do taxes and how to actually just do real world things. You don't want to be like these guys. That's all I'm saying, all right? Because I was one of them. That shit got me nowhere. And now I'm making money online. I'm here to tell you guys if you are still deciding whether to go to college or not. The choice is up to you, all right? Like if you, you know if you're good at school or not. But I just want to show you guys, all right? Something just came in my phone. It's my Shopify order. And it says 10,000 yesterday and 9,000 today. And I didn't learn this in Baruch, all right? If you're wondering, yes, I did go to this school. Yes, I did drop out. And yes, this shit is a waste of time. And I'm gonna just go up and ask a random person. All right, follow me. All right, yo, I'm gonna ask these two girls. Did you graduate in Baruch? Yes, I did. Got you. Why did you choose Baruch and do you regret coming here or did it provide you a lot of opportunities? I think it was like the best option to come to Baruch actually and I chose coming here because it offers the best actuarial science program in, oh, okay, in okay. the state. All right, so I am here with Brian De La Cruz. Brian Nelson, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What is your major first of all? Uh, I'm a CIS major. CIS major and are you almost done or? No, I just started. You this just started? First, yeah, it's my first semester. All right, so, all right, so here's an interesting question. I, I just want to ask you, is that what you really want to do? It's in the field of what I want to do generally. I just really like computers. I like um, technology, that kind of thing. And I think it was the ideal for me because I didn't want to go straight up into computer science because I think it's a little too difficult for me. But I think computer information systems and data analysis specifically. You think it's like it's going to be like a good stepping stone for where you actually want to be in, yeah, right? Yeah, I think it's a oh. good way to go. Okay, brother. So the question is, why are you in college? Like, did your parents push you or like, you wanted to come here by yourself? And is it what you expected? I really want to go to college so I can uh, get my degree and have a better job in the future. I didn't really want to go to Baruch, but ultimately it's where I decided on going. And I wasn't expecting it to be this good at first, which I liked the college experience, but at least we made like a good friend group. I know you And guys, that's like, yeah. Did you get a job in that field or you're still looking around right now? Um, I'm still looking around, but currently I work at Baruch, so. Gotcha. Do you plan on sticking with that path or are you planning sometime in the future you're going to like jump major or like jump career paths I'll probably stick with the same uh, career for a while okay and then maybe change um, change it to something that I'm passionate about maybe like languages or something you weren't passionate about that no I was oh. I am yeah you just started so it's like your first semester yeah. your first semester do you think it would be what it is promised to you like what do you so, do what you do you want out of this especially coming out of high school I never saw myself doing anything but college it's just because the opportunity for education okay. is here okay. right yeah so what i'm expecting out of it is just to be able to grow as a person and just get into the steps of what i want to do in the future and also just to meet people for you like is it what you imagine i feel like the the college like it's cool it's cool going to class and all that but i expected it to be way more work because we only have classes like three days a week and the rest is online yeah no we just don't have it's just three classes th like class three days a week and that's it Ooh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's it's pretty like you can have a job on the outs on like the side. You can do more extra work if you need. And you are majoring in finance. Finance. Yeah. Finance. You trying to work in Wall Street? Someday. Maybe. Someday. Okay. Last question. I don't want to take too much of your time. 
once you graduate and you're out of this place, how much do you want to be making starting? Come like 4.5. Are you breaking out of your comfort zone? A little, you know, I was on camera in high school too. You know, I, oh, I was part, were. yeah, I used to do That's why you're news. so natural on yeah, this right now. You, you, there's no camera shot at all with Brian. I used to do school news when I was in high school, so it's, you know, a little. But yeah, you know, I was really uh, intrigued into going to college, you know, trying to find myself, trying to find okay. what it is that I actually want to do. I did e-commerce. You ever heard of e-commerce? Yes. Yes, so I do e-commerce right now. I don't want to take too much of your time. No I just want to ask you one final question. How much do you want to be making a year after you're finished with this? Uh, ideally, like the, the market kind of income that you get from data analysis is like 80K. So around that area would be comfortable for me. In reality, my parents didn't go to college. So anything that's like more than what they were able to come with is fine. But generally that's the market, you know. That's a fair answer. Yeah. It's not to brag or anything, right? Yeah. But I just want to show you a little bit of e-commerce. Are you entrepreneurial or you tried anything entrepreneurial? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. All right, brother, I'm about to put you on, all right? So this is a live screenshot of my phone. I do e-commerce, right? right? I do high ticket drop shipping. And today I've closed out 9,000 in sales today. Yesterday closed down 10,000, 10,000, 10, 10.8. 10 and yeah, right. that's basically the power of dropping out of school and like basically self-education that's the route all right i believe it. i believe <laughs> no it. it's real it's I not think, a screenshot you can move it i think that definitely college isn't for everyone and if you're able to find yourself and find that income in a different way you know building on yourself building the skills that you need to and you're not comfortable with school because i have friends right yeah that don't want to go to school that's just not them they much rather what learn. do they say uh, for them, it's like they're not dedicated enough. To, they don't care enough to go to college. They'd rather oh, improve on okay, themselves. Oh, okay, okay. All right. And I respect that, right? I completely respect that. I just think it's... still it's, going in another way. Yeah. All I right. just think it's everyone's path, right? For me, this is what I'm looking forward to. This is what I want out of my life. But I yeah. think you dropping out and um, going the way that you did worked for you, and I'm happy for you. Best of luck to your career paths. And I'm actually a student here, too, so... Well, I was a student, so I'm just coming back, reminiscing, and just trying to talk to Wait, some to students. Why did I go to Baruch? Yeah, I, I, I'm good. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. You sit down. You sit down. You sit down. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So, so why did you choose to come to Baruch College? Okay, I chose to come to Baruch College. I didn't graduate. I came. You didn't here graduate. Four years ago, and I dropped out because I wasn't learning anything from Baruch. I actually failed most of my classes, and now I started my online e-commerce website. So I was, how's that going for you? Yeah, how's that going for you, sir? How's that going for me? So, okay, I'll show, I'll show you guys, all right? Today, we've just closed 9,000 in sales. If I press yesterday, wow. I closed 10,000 in sales. And my message today was supposed to be, I didn't learn any of this in Baruch. That's, that's basically it. And I was trying to ask to see if I could find one person that is passionate about what they doing in school and like actually learn something that can convert into dollars or anything that you can you know spend on yeah. the real world so that was the reason why I'm here today okay okay <laughs> and I did not expect to be flip the switch <laughs> flip the script on me that yeah that was pretty cool wait, wait this is your show now oh, um, well thank you for joining us today thank you for your kind words and I wish you the best of success on your career I see that you're uh, you know fly and you're popping you know oh thank you <laughs> this this whole outfit uh, I borrowed it <laughs> so I'm a Shrafi I'm a first semester at Baruch College majoring in finance in 10 years I see myself <clears throat> working in like a, if we're talking like a corporate job I see myself working maybe like Wall Street like just like in investment banking mm -hmm. or like at a firm you said investment banking yeah so you're in finance right now yeah okay but I don't really know what exactly it entails so that's what I'm hoping to get at a college you, you want to be a finance bro yeah <laughs> Basically. Wolf of Wall Street, you ever seen that movie before? I have, yeah. I've seen it once. Yeah? And then hit the, hit the day trading. Um, nah, on some real shit though. Uh, what kind of questions do you have about dropshipping? Um, how can I help? So, I know like the basics of like getting started, because I tried getting started once. But I just don't know like how you actually like get your source to really be out there. And like get people to see it. Besides like, I know you could do like, you could advertise on like, especially TikTok. But I just never really knew how to like actually get started and make ads that like actually get people's attention to get mm -hmm. like, customers to the store. Mm -hmm. So you already had a store before, like you tried having yeah, a store? Yeah, I tried making a store and I made one sale before I just like stopped trying because okay. I never got to the advertising part because I just didn't know like pr proper marketing and I didn't have the energy to like actually learn it at the time. Okay, and then you said you tried to do TikTok 
ads or just like I making to get into it, but I just never ended up doing it because mm-hmm. I didn't really know like the techniques to really get people's attention. Mm-hmm. So usually when it comes to like those videos, you have to get like a hook and then you got to provide like value to them and they got like it's a lot of intricacies making a video. Yeah. Right. I've been there. I started off doing drop shipping like five years ago and I had to make videos on Facebook. Facebook ads. You ever heard like Facebook yeah, ads, yeah. AliExpress. I was once there and it was very hard. I use Google. You ever heard of Google? I have, yeah. Google is when you search for something, right? So imagine searching like skateboard, backfire skateboard, and imagine having your listing appear on the shopping tab. So if somebody's searching backfire sta- skateboard and you show them backfire skateboard and then you have a really good website and you have like live chat and everything set up, they're gonna buy from you, yeah. right? It's about where to put that attention and how to get that person that wants to look, that's looking for it, yeah. right? So. Think of it like this. When you're on TikTok and Facebook, you have to grab somebody's attention, you know, to hook them on and then present the product and then sell to them. Whereas if you're on Google, somebody is already interested in buying this. Yeah, they're already looking directly for it. There's more purchase intent. And that's where I recommend everybody to first start off with because you need to have not just traffic, but quality traffic. Quality people that are interested in buying from you. Yeah. Right. So Google is where I found success. And then pretty much what ended up happening, long story short, I found a winning product, right? I made 2 million, 1.2 to 2 million around sales. Off that like one Off that product. one product. It was a summer trending product. Fantastic. The numbers were great. And then the realities of business hit me, right? Because I've been doing it for like five years. Mm-hmm. And guess what realities they were? Order fulfillment, customer service, customer support, team management, real shit, bro. Like real stuff to manage a business. And that all just backfired on me. And then I went into huge debt and I had wow. to climb out of it. Some way, somehow. It was January 8th, I'll never forget. I Wait, had what year to, was it? 2022. So pretty recent. Pretty recent, pretty damn recent. And I had to decide whether I should continue doing what I'm doing, which was not working. Well, it's not that it wasn't working, right? It was just that it wasn't making the money that I wanted. Yeah, it wasn't going in your favor. Or it wasn't going in my favor. Or I have to decide like find a job and you know just climb out it's like not crazy like i'm not dead like you know i'm still gonna make money back but which route do i go and then you know god said i got lucky i found what high ticket drop shipping was basically high ticket drop shipping is like instead of selling like a 45 dollar item you sell a 4500 dollar item and then instead of using like facebook ads to like cold outreach and find people we use google ads to target people that are looking for it because yeah, so, if people are looking for that product they're more likely to buy it precisely but it. then not just that you also need to have good margins too because part of the problems you'll run when it comes to advertising is like your advertising cost might be so much that you lose profit yeah you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so you have to make sure that your numbers are good so you're a numbers guy. i mean you're in finance so numbers should be you know better for you you have to know your profits and everything so imagine making a 4500 dollars sale versus a 45 dollars sale how many 45 dollars sales do you have to make for a 4500 dollars do the math i'm pretty sure it's 100. simple yeah so would you rather have one client paying you 4,500 or 100 clients paying you 45? It's easier to just get that one. It's client. easier to do one. Yeah, it's easier to do one, and it's easier to scale like that. And that's how I've been able to make over six figures every single month, legit. Because out of 5,000 dollars order, how many customers do I really need? Give them a good customer experience; they'll come by again. Everybody wins. That, that is, is that is interesting. That yeah. is also very inspiring. Yeah. So, um, following you on Instagram, if you want to learn more, bro, hit me up on DM, bro. I'd love to show you the ropes. I got you. Who's that telling you? Marcus.